Mercedes, huh? Okay, interesting choice. Pretty safe. I tend to agree with you, though. I think they will win this race. But if Mercedes wins, let's make it unique to you. And let's give you a little bit more interesting regarding the Japanese Grand Prix, Mercedes winning, and what would happen. If Hamilton were to win this race, he would match yet another Schumacher record. And this one would be six wins at the Japanese Grand Prix. Technically, though, he'd still be one short at the Suzuka circuit. You gotta remember his rookie season, the one where he barely lost to Kimi Raikkonen. That victory came actually at the Fuji track, not the Suzuka track. If Mercedes were to go 1-2 at the Japanese Grand Prix, they would clinch the Constructors' season. A Merc 1-2 at the Japanese Grand Prix at the Suzuka circuit would put them in a commanding lead. They would end up with 614 points going into the Mexican Grand Prix right before Halloween. This doesn't even include the fastest lap. And let me illustrate that point if you're going, well, really? Clinch? 100%? Yes, absolutely. So let's do a quick math breakdown. Even if Ferrari go 1-2 and take all the fastest lap points, that is, they'd take 44 points, the 43 for going 1-2, and then the extra fastest lap point, that's 44, you multiply that by the four races that are left, Mexico, Brazil, US, and Abu Dhabi. That would give Ferrari 176 points. If you add that to the total we gave them after the Japanese Grand Prix, and remember, that was giving them the benefit of the doubt finishing 3-4, if you added up those 176 points to the conclusion of the points they have at the Japanese Grand Prix, that would total 612 points. That would actually still come up two points shy. That's if Mercedes doesn't even leave the garage. It's 100% clinched. No matter what happens, if they go 1-2 at the Japanese Grand Prix, Mercedes, Silver Arrows, they take another Constructors' Championship. And if you chose Mercedes to actually win the Japanese Grand Prix, well, you wouldn't be crazy. They've never lost. In the hybrid era, they have gone 5 for 5. Hamilton's taken all of those wins except in 2016, like we mentioned. So, it's a good call. But like we said before, nothing's promised, especially this season, and in particular, the last few races, we've seen that Mercedes can be beaten. And especially at tracks in which they would clinch. But, looking at the Suzuka Grand Prix, it's going to be a little bit different. In terms of the Ferrari and what they're bringing to the table and their improvements, this is still going to be a struggle for them to actually come around and win. That Mercedes setup, the package as a whole, is very well suited for Suzuka. The biggest threat will likely be Red Bull. If Mercedes go on for another 1-2 Silver Arrow finish, they would be done with the season. But that's what you get for picking Mercedes. You end up getting a pretty boring side of the video. And that's it. Pretty simple. If Mercedes go 1-2, season over. But let's mix it up a little bit. Let's say you wanted to see what would happen if you chose Ferrari. You never know. Maybe it gets interesting. You can click here. But if you want to go to the end of the video and check out what I have to say, wrapping it all up and telling you what's next, go ahead and click here. I'm going to be making an Al1 makes a charge video. And also, you can give some input on what happens next in this channel and what content gets produced. Thanks a lot for checking this out. Congrats on picking Mercedes. We'll see you soon.